Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Age of Empires 3 Co-op Edition. Kasa, who didn't really say much about us going into this. <laughs> and uh... Yeah, very true. Yes. But we do have some... you have some Gaskinia here. Hello, Taxabu. Like Simeon Jackals fight over the Kakas. Yet the people suffer and starve. Odemwal. Please help us lest we perish. I can't bear to watch my people suffer. I will restore to the people their rightful possessions and end the reign of the corrupt warlords who devastate this land to line their own pockets. That's the line I was waiting for. I thought you'd say it earlier. But nonetheless, here we have a bit of a non-combat section. Uh, no, sorry, non-production section. That's true. Whereas I, as Kassaj, with some Shoto Warriors, will be joined by Tax Elbivs and uh, Kass Genya. Indeed, they're scion. To go and uh, destroy some granaries. Indeed. Uh, it's going to help the people guys. burn down the food storage. Yeah, people like that. Should be to get some work done here, some focus fire. Yep, yeah, that sounds good. And, uh, Looks Cassins. like I'm not getting a hero for the time being here. Hmm, I've got the Roar of the Lion, which uh, increases attack speed when used, so helps a bit. Kassa can also dodge things passively. He's a bit of an Illidan yeah, guy. Yeah, that's, that's neat as well. Hmm. Nice. And nice, these nice, nice. to also get some support. Apparently not. It looks uh, like they were meant to be, but they're not. Yeah, they they definitely look like they're supposed to join. The, no, not not today. They they've got no horse in this race here. Yeah. Although we have, as we can see in the mini map, while we're burning down some innocuous granaries, um, yeah, several settlements that could potentially join us. So. Uh, that is true. Let, let's hope they actually do it, and I'm not stuck with uh, like five, <laughs> five spearmen for the rest of this adventure. Hmm. They're pretty we'll powerful see. spearmen, to be fair. They're like equivalent of musketeers, but yeah. Now, onto the next oh, there's a, an attack here. Uh, this is actually a considerable amount of troops here. Hmm. But I think Green may join us. Nope, they are, they're moving on to the next granary, I guess. Use that roar to wrap it up quick. Yeah. Hmm. We're a bit beat up, I wonder. Let's explore to the yeah. left. Maybe, yeah. There, there could be more factions to, to join us. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This is just a dead Ibex end. here. Or Ibex. Yeah, well, we went to go and say, say hello. So. <laughs> Yep. Oh, we can't get up here. That looked like a ramp. He is the ramp. Okay. Yeah. Our monastery is yours. So why don't you come over here? So we've got a mountain monastery here, which is the unique building for the Ethiopians, which is placed on top of a mine and mines it automatically. However, more that usefully right neat. now, we have an Alban here who's going to heal us up. That's true. Yeah, that's just freshen up a little bit because I can definitely use it. Hmm. Yeah, one of my guys is on like 26 health. Hello. How about I don't let my hero eat the healing? He can heal on his own. That's true, yeah. Also, your hero's going to need quite a while to be... to be healed up. There's yeah. also a structure south here, like this cross-shaped structure. I wonder whether that's a, a treasure structure. Oh, that! That's the rock-hewn churches, yeah, which is a very Ethiopian feature, but I think they decided not to actually make it an actual building you can get. We'll have a look. I have noticed oh, okay. that some of those um, Kaskenyas have actually joined you from the settlement. Yeah, I just, just noticed it. Uh, that's interesting. So I guess once okay. they got home, well, they joined up? But... That's a bit better. Also, there's there's a hippos there's hippos swimming in in the little little body of water west of the village. Very cute. Oh, they actually get an animation for swimming too. That's nice. Oh, yeah. I see you found. I thought some they were up. just walking underwater, but yeah. Okay, uh, I'm f all freshened up. Nice. Yeah, you see, you found some chests of coin over there too. So Hello. Oh, it is true, but we can't pick it up. 
Mm. Only villagers have the ability to grab items. Alright, well you've got far more firepower than I have, but I'll attempt a front line That's for you. That's true, but you, you do have your hero. Yes. Let's avoid this area to the right, looks like a settlement. And just go down yeah, this Yeah, that path. could be dangerous. Yeah, there's, there's walls, That's that does not fill me with confidence. There's a lot of enemy spearmen. Maybe we can cut to the north and avoid them? Mm, yeah, let's see whether we can avoid them. Uh, there's something. Yeah, there's another one of these. Where That's your mountain monastery this time. Perhaps it was a prophecy of your coming. That's good. Now we both get some passive income. Hmm. You can configure it to generate more influence if you prefer. Reinforcements. Useful. Yeah, I wonder whether... Oh, I got one spearman. <laughs> okay, these are definitely bugged because I got one out of the three. That does not seem to be... Intense. Doesn't seem right, does it? Yeah. I'm going to grab this treasure while uh, we're here. It's going to increase I just noticed the healer is actually under my control. He's not, he's not passive. But they, they actually attack, uh, anyway, like the green guys, we, we could join them. But then again, they're attacking the the, the blockade at the road, I think we should not go for that. Hmm. Do you actually all. have control of the Elven? Uh, I do, yeah. Oh, you can also set him to mine the mine the monastery if you prefer. Ah, I see. Good, good, good. Or just bring him with Yeah, I wonder whether I should go for... Mm -hmm. Uh, right now I'm at 50-50, so let's, yeah, let's leave it at that for the time being. Sounds good. Well, this will help with tanking this shield yeah. of a mighty warrior, even though my guy already has a shield. But it's now a better shield, giving him 30% yeah, points. Yeah, well, well, it's two shields. Oh, he's dual wielding them. Oh, and you get another horse. Mm. Uh, maybe this is intentional? I'm not quite sure. You get the one horse. I mean, these green guys do attack. Yeah. So let's maybe have them like, distract those guys a little bit. Yeah, and just... And then we can move on. Slide on by. And attack yeah. these granary defenders. Bit of a roar. The lines of roaring. Mm. Oh yeah, this is, m this is much better now. Yeah, definitely need these reinforcements. Good, good, good. Oh, the uh, birds. Cinematography flying overhead. That's nice, nice, nice. There's also giraffes hugging south of our position. Oh, that's, that's very fiction. We've got full Lion King memes going on there. Absolutely. The, the, the cycle of life. You burn down a granary and get food. Yeah, you get a very western looking cart. I, I suspect once that supply wagon reaches the town, it then gives the reinforcements. That could actually be the case, yeah, that, that would be plausible. I like how the fields are apparently made of wooden planks, based on the sound they make when they collapse. Yeah, that's one of the few sounds I think that was a downgrade from the old game, because at least that one was a more ambiguous crumbling. Yeah, definitely. So all my shelter warriors died. I think I agree with you, cousin. So yes, south. I definitely do. Okay, here's more red walls. We probably want to avoid those as well. Mm, thread the needle here. Look out, A battle rages ahead. We should see how to look to see a lizard there. Alright, well, we shall be sneaky. Yep. Here we have ostriches as well. Yes, it's quite a decorative area. We have attracted some attention, but. Yeah, but I think we can just uh, outrun these guys here. Mm. Yeah, ibex. they retreated, so it's all good. What do we have up here for treasure? Uh, 120 wood, that's not uh, top priority right now. Hmm. African Vagabond. Ambushing a uh, Shogo Thrower. <laughs> That's a very specific Oh, we have some enemy. guys here. Oh, oh yes, we'll grab them now. Yeah. They'll be useful immediately. 
Looks like you actually got all of those this time, rather than half of them going to green. Yeah, the, the game's uh, it does an interesting approach to distributing these forces here. Well, there's more left, but we didn't attract all of them straight away. Uh, that's good for us. That's true. This is the last of the granaries we need to burn, yeah? Seems there's even like a it, livestock yeah. market. Guess I'll burn down the market and you can burn the fields. Yep. I'm not sure whether we actually need to burn the field itself. I think it's just, it's just the granaries. Yeah, it is. There you go. We have had enough of the shift of bandits looting our goods. Let us bury the hatchet, my brothers, and get rid of this pest. We agree. The enemy is upon us. Yes, get yeah, back to the villages. It's time to run bravely away. Yep. Including the reinforcements you've been given. Uh, yeah, I just saw we, we got some of those. So guys, please hurry up. It's quite, quite a force pursuing us. Uh, ooh, that's very true. That's a lot of guys. Yeah, my spear guys are a little bit, a little bit slower than than your warriors, but yeah, my warriors have learned the case, art of running. Yeah, worst case, I I'll have to I have to get the horses to sprint ahead. Mm, okay. Yeah, I think I might just do that, just so we we reach the village faster. Very well. I'll just pass through this. These native buildings place. here. Hmm. Uh, that... It's a Sudanese village, actually. Oh, we will follow you to the end. And you do get the left village. Good, good, good. good. There you go. Well, let's get that's ourselves that's acquainted. Nice. Yeah. There's a gudge. Can't build it down here. Now, it's still in discovery, so we need to get ourselves figured out. Yeah. It looks like there's some enemies things oh. in the middle there. They are, yeah. Uh, I'll just run just past these here for the time the being. From our the livestock can be used to feed our armies or sold at the livestock market for good. A good point there, Kassa. Yeah, good. I day. have a mountain monastery card here as well. Let's see, let's get all my villagers to actually work. Yeah, you... You work here, please. You work the fields here. Get some coin out of that as well. Uh, you just... Wait here for the time being. Hello. Time to some figure guys out. on lumber, please. So, the home city of Gondar, apparently. We only have one card in age one. Might as well send it. You should good, be good. our Emperor Kassa. Not these vile warlords. No, Allow no, us to build your palace so that you can claim what is yours. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, we got experience points for defending ourselves. Oh, that's that's not bad. Hmm. So, advanced livestock markets. Team reputed markets. Okay, yeah, faster influence. I'll take that. Team spice trade. You got a bunch yeah, of team cards good in the sand. Well. I'm gonna age up immediately. Oh, that's true. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Would like these livestock actually. But let's just get ourselves ready first. I'll, I'll ally with the Portuguese. I've decided to go with the uh, Jesuits first. Get some churches. Good, good, good. So, selected breeding. Just gonna get a bunch of these livestock market upgrades. Uh, that seems reasonable. It's a reputed market shipment. I wonder what that does. Uh, I did have that as well. Well, I don't have it. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> okay, uh, that one. Um, what, what does it do? Uh, I already got that one. Oh, uh, that gets you influence faster from livestock markets. That is good, because it's... I'll definitely get a bunch of cows to really get that shell money flowing in. 
Yep. Alright, so we are aging. Get the cows going. Exactly. So I think it'd be good to prioritize clearing out the section between us. Yes, that would be good. So I do have a decent starting army. Okay, that helps. You know, I think we can I can actually we can actually take these guys together. Fair enough. Well I'll defend myself against purple and then I'll uh, see what I've got left. Okay. Uh, do, do you need help with purple or are you okay? I, I'm okay. I'll just give myself a little roar. Improves morale. <laughs> I'll see what I can annoy a rat a little bit here without provoking their troops. Good, good, good. So the next age has arrived. One nice thing about this map is we start with so many huts that are just already at maximum population. Oh, I didn't even see that, yeah. That seems reasonable. So let's get a mountain monastery in this gold. Put a yeah. church next to the mountain monastery because that seems appropriate. That seems fair. Okay. And... Oh, lost one guy there, but that's okay. Yeah, they have a bunch of guys here in the tower, but it's not too much. Yeah, I think I'm just going to focus on defenses for a little longer. Uh, that's that. fair, yeah. I think, yeah, I think I have to build a bit of a, of a capacity here as well. I'm going to get that palace. Ooh, yeah, a bunch of shipments. Let's gather these books. Amalgamation. Oh, that's all right. Let's get the wood cutting instead. Let's get a bunch of workers. Now. Semi. Seven semi fattened cattle sounds good. I'll get that. Semi fattened, yeah. Yeah, I think our monasteries are fairly safe. I don't think the enemy really goes for those. Yeah. Uh, decreasing villager training time sounds like a good use of shell money. Yeah, uh, I'll go with medicine here. Casa keeps getting wrecked. Alright, let's get some conquistadors. Yeah, do you need help with purple or...? I'm okay. Oh, a bunch of the purple units. Oh, I thought it was purple, but they were only brown ostriches. Was worried there. <laughs> was the Beware. ostriches all along? Yes. All right, those semi-fattened cattle give a nice trickle of influence, especially once they're fully fattened. Good, good, good. good. And I need influence to get the more conquistadors. You can sneak one more in. Right. Rock rotation, sure thing. Let's get some workers, and let's get some cask. Farming. <laughs> the villagers in my home city had like maximum zoom speed. <laughs> oh yeah! Wow, they are—they're doing some power walking. Now. Yeah. <laughs> what zoom. happened there? Maybe it's not used to the FPS limit of being turned on. <laughs> it could be, yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe, no, no, that's just, oh, I actually have a, I can build another mountain monastery here, I just noticed. Wait a second. Yeah, every age you'll get a mountain monastery builder. Yeah, but I, I completely missed that there's a, a gold mine here. Oh, useful. I think, yeah, I think there's also mines between us once we clear that out, so. Yeah. I'll build uh, some units. Oh, yeah, there's multiple, in fact. That's, that's good. I'll get some, uh, some of these. Good. Let's get these fields here. There's plenty of items. And let's maybe make some some of them gold fields. So what crops do you think are growing there? Uh, that is a good question. So they are, if you zoom in, uh, they look actually just like they have either red leaves or red fruit. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Maybe it's grapes. So now that I have a mountain monastery in my base, I can also train some albums, so we'll do that. Two seems good. Yeah, this I have to get some more guys on lumber, I noticed. Especially the lumber. Yeah, I only put two of them on lumber initially and then kind of forgot about it. Yeah, fair enough. Portuguese Crusaders. Now you get yourself some crossbowmen. Let's see. 
Book of Axum. And faster aging as well. The enemy is aging fast. They're industrial already. Oh, okay. I'm not sure whether I like that. Let's see, I need to... Still building up my economy a little bit. I think I'm comfortable enough to push left for now. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go for red? Yes. There's a way okay. to you. Well, watch Sentry Tower, it's more to the point. Yeah. And there's oh, also there's some red force thing out there as well. We may as well take those out while we're at it. Well, they're trying to start us, don't Hello. Oh, are they, oh, they are. They're doing some hit and run here. Mm. Hello. Well, intercepting an attack where it's useful. Good, good, good. Oh, let's head down here and some more villagers. Take this out. And here are my Portuguese reinforcements. So we got these Conquistadors on these Javelin Riders that should be effective. Yeah, this, this shouldn't be too much of a challenge. There we go. Oh, we've taken we position. This. Nice. So you get an extra livestock market. That. And I have yeah, I'll... some cattle here. That's nice, that's nice. Not much of the cows I managed to keep. I shall move over to the livestock market. Now the huts, now the huts are damaged, but... Oh dear. That happens. Let's get some aristocracy. Exchange point for influence. Interesting. Uh, not right now. Be a good idea to get that as well. I'm gonna age up and then spend some cards. Uh, that is a good point. Yeah. Sell my livestock for coin. There we go. I think I will go Portuguese for my second alliance. <clears throat> Good. Hello. Maybe grab this trading post here. Maybe you can grab the one at the back. Uh, I did not see there was a trading post, but I shall do so. Okay, you built me. You put me a uh, trading post here. There we go. Thank you very much for reminding me of that. That's no problem. So, shorter warriors. Yeah, I think I want a bunch of those. That seems reasonable. So what do these okay, guys give us? going somewhere. So we can spend some influence to get two red sea wagons. Get what do those do? Armor. Uh, they just they just built most buildings. Okay. So just generic wagons. Um, a cavalry armor could, could be useful. Uh, I suppose that's true. Some short warriors here. I have a slightly more diverse army here. So let's heal them up as well. Post here is on the way. So this There's 20 coin <laughs> treasure. But it's right. guarded by what? Actually, actually, it's not guarded by anyone. Okay. Well, what have you got outside yours? You've got increasing the siege damage of infantry. From this yeah, and I think steam. that might be useful before we go go on the offense. There's a villager stuck in a baobab tree, and this here is seventy coin. Excellent. Oh, I actually had awesome. 22 out of 20 uh, cows. Also, look how chunky uh, the, the cows are at, at the livestock market we conquered. Mm. That's going to be giving you some nice influence. Definitely. Let's upgrade to Sentry Tower. Here comes the next wave, and I'll get some cannoneers. I quite like this. 
Okay, that's a huge wave. Do you need help with that? Uh, we'll see how I go. Yeah. But feel free to help if you like. I'll, I'll send some guys over. It's in left tenure. Okay, let's build some additional fields here as well. Uh, no space here, but okay. No, not the fort. Okay, I'll, I'll go for the cannons. Oh, I've got field guns already, yes. Well, no ten years should help. Oh, thank you for the assist. Okay, skill guns are down. Sentry tower is now done. Yeah, they're they're retreating. I'll, I'll harass them a little more. Let's get the five albums, the eight hundred heavy guns. My deck is not particularly exciting. Yeah, I've got a lot of kind of generic cards. Get the Portuguese Crusaders. Let's get the Book of Axon. Indian Market, what does that actually get us? I think it lets you get both the regular, like European market upgrades, and then okay. those ones as well. Let's go with that one. That sounds interesting. Oh, I'm being... Uh, I'm being a Sevastopol gun from the distance here. Oh yes. But it's it's okay now. But yeah, I need some healing after that. That's that did some damage. I could eat these giraffes. Um, get the crossbows. Some trees down and you. You guys can harvest that. Oh, the, oh, the uh, red's going after the elephants for some reason. Oh no. Okay, well, whatever, man. If that makes you happy, go for it. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's get that Indian market going. The sentry tower, sure thing. Why not? Nomadic bandits, I'll do that as well. Desert archers, sure thing. Hmm. Improved monastery mining. Sure. More powerful troops in general, I'll take that. Okay, let's. Yeah, I'm just slowly building up my economy and stuff. It's going somewhere. Sounds good. I'm just taking my defense a bit more seriously, getting a double palace. Good, 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 good. Might get some more watchtowers as well. I think I'm going to get a palace going here as well. Some more healing as well. I think I need some more coin fields here. Oh, they knocked down my trading post. Yeah, I'll have that back, thank you. Yeah, Indian Mark wasn't too exciting because uh, it gets me stuff from hunted animals and whatnot faster, but I'm not really focusing on that anyway. Okay. But it's, yeah, it's fine. I think it does mean, though, that your palace will be able to train elephants, so that's something. Ooh, okay. That sounds exciting. So who's uh, who's unemployed now? You are, yeah. Yeah, these cannon here guys, I like them. Oh, there's a there's a red hero actually hanging out here. At the mon at the monastery. Okay. The blue one there. Okay, let's see whether we can bring you down. Oh, you're you're bold, just going to my base like this. And now you're down. <laughs> well, you tried. Fortune didn't favor the bold after all. That is true. So let, let's guard his remains. So enemy won't revive. That guy, let's get you here on Lumba again. Got you here being unemployed, but that's okay. Or is it? Oh, 
I am curious. I could send you down here. Are you going to do anything with your port? <laughs> uh, with my with my port? Oh, I'm um, mm. not so sure about that. I could do some fishing, but it's not particularly necessary right now. Smallest pond ever. It's true, yeah. But theoretically, I could. Ten in years. Well, I can go to Sevastopol mort Mortars as well, if, if I reach the next age, that is. Yes. Gargantuan Mortars, those. Most definitely. Also, I noticed that... <laughs> I noticed that... What's this here? Uh, I can actually rebuild the arsenal in the Indian market if they get destroyed, so it's not a one-time thing. I can replace them. That's useful. If... If they get destroyed. There's a huge purple army going for our stuff. Okay, I'll... I'll not the huts. No, not the huts. These are the, the mon monasteries. Those are actually kind of valuable. Hmm, at least we can re rebuild those and you got a spare. Yeah. Spare builder in your city anyway. Going for my mo monastery here. Oh, uh, that's okay though. Alright, cannons down. Good. My cannon is a thumb down. Yeah, this isn't too scary at the moment. It's more bothersome than anything mm. else. That's a lot of free yeah, skirmishes. Yeah. Okay. A successful hold. Yeah, definitely. So I think I'm going to go for maybe... Maybe some walls here. See whether I can pull that off. Sounds good. Whether I can like, build walls in a way here that actually actually makes sense. Also to just prevent the enemy from just walking through here. And I see you've got purple purples here on a, oh wait. Uh, no that didn't work because there's they just cannoned uh, the the villager there. Hmm. Okay let's just uh just considering my next alliance now. Let's see. I might go yeah, for let's the just uh this here for the time being. Habitious. I still need more gold to HR. Uh, yeah, I think I need to switch more people to to gold here. Another shipment. What else do we have here? Ah, let's just get a gold shipment. Get the goods. I think I'll go for the habeshes. That's not bad. Yeah, the one that caught my eye there, the upgrade for being able to generate influence from a mountain monastery without there being coin in it, so... Oh, uh, that's not bad. It's that's there. not bad at all. Let's just scout up here for a moment. Good. Yeah, purple's still creeping in. Do I actually... Yeah, I'll also probably get the, the basic upgrades here. Where a light shone through the dark clouds upon the islands of Ethiopia. Perhaps it was a prophecy of your coming. Maybe so, mysterious Eben. It could be. These guys wandered off to their deaths. Yeah, I'm we get more gold here. Yeah, I think I just need some more. Oh, look at that. Red has access to a, a ordinance bestiero. It's like a special crossbow man, I guess. Yeah, those are the, the uh, Portuguese crusaders. Oh, okay. So you built, please put me another granary here. I think I might need some extra fields in the future. And he's down. Okay, so I've got a nice army here. Excellent. I think I still need more. I'm not nearly at uh, my pop maximum, but yeah. We are, we're going somewhere. Indeed. Okay, let's, let's get more villagers. And I can actually afford to age up. Good, 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 good. Let's get the church builder. I like, I like to have, I like to collect those those buildings I can otherwise not get. 
There's something nice about that. Yeah. Well, it looks like I've spotted the final bonus objective. Let's quickly do that now with this conquistador. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a second palace here just to be on the safe side. And I should also check what the native embassy actually gets me. Ark of the Covenant costs two grand shell money. <laughs> I mean, it is a price, it's a relic, so I can understand. So that, I believe, is your mountain monastery now. Yeah? Um, that's nice. Up on the hill? Uh, wait, wait a second, where? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. I didn't see that. Yeah, that was that bonus objective. Yep. Yeah. So I could destroy their Sevastopol mortars with my Sevastopol mortars if I get some of those going. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Uh, but before we do that, let's get more people on fields here. Yeah. You come down here. There's you a red enemy a attack coming here. in. Uh, oh, it's true. Uh, not, not much I can do about that right now. But yeah, it seems the enemy really likes to go for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll send my tr uh, troops south. Uh, let's get coffee as a home sh city shipment. That seems good. Feudal armies. Yeah, who doesn't Tokens like of 1,000 influence. Oh, they have a lot of uh, Cuverine Royale. Yeah. Let's send in the armies. A little bit more money here. There we go. I've met rat. Oh yeah, I'm, I have to just destroy that cavalry first. Otherwise, we're doomed here. Yeah, but at least they. I could destroy two of them before that. Oh, 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 you're running. Okay, but this is gonna cost you some cavalry. Uh, some artillery. I mean. Mm. Yeah, that was a mistake, rat. Rats is doing a good job of keeping them from getting away. Mm. Let's see whether I can get that Sevastopol mortar, because I don't really need more of those hanging around here, but let's kill you here first. Oh, no, there's too much red stuff in the north, but nevertheless. Purple Tiro is still suffering. Okay, I now have a neutral green Aboon hanging out at my, at my mind there, for whatever reason. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not, not quite sure what to do with that is, but I'll, I'll just accept it at this point. Like this coin. So, <laughs> the most expensive shipment I have is Team 1 Sevastopol Mortar. <laughs> okay. Which ships one each for each of us. And uh, can be sent uh, infinite times. That's not bad, that costs that cost us 1000 influence otherwise. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of Sevastopol Mortar, one of, one of them is attacking me but with no backup. And, that's pretty uh, bold. That is bold. And there's two hitting, more hitting you from the bridge. Yeah, I noticed that, so let's just see. Okay, yeah, that, if, that if can't get rid of this one here, then I'll just retreat. Send in the first place. Yeah, okay. There's Red's hero. You're gonna regret that, thank you very much. Okay, let's just retreat here a little bit. Smokeless powder, sure thing. So now that I'm okay, Now Red is coming for me. That. But yeah, I'll, I'll get some. Well, fortified cities are good. I'm getting well, a lot more influence. Train, where we're going. mortars and batches. I just found out. Mm. Yeah, that's not too surprising. Okay, let's see what ship exciting shipments do I have here. Selective training, sure thing. I just get a ton of units with shipments, which is okay, but it's not particularly thrilling. Yeah, it's not that interesting. It's like unique upgrades, in my opinion. Pay for some of these upgrades, I'm gonna to need to get this Ark of the Covenant unlocked. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Let's see. It's still too large. Yeah, stock. I think we're going somewhere here. The, the pressure isn't actually all that high on us. Interestingly, we I can't actually get to age five. Uh hmm. yeah, me neither. I just have the fortified cities upgrade here. Yeah, which costs three grand. <laughs> it's true. Alright, well there's that team Sevastopol Mortar, enjoy. 
Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, coincidentally, that I got that at the exact moment. I also got the uh, the mortar I order. Fair enough. Yeah, so you can switch between explosive and solid shot for those. Nice, 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 nice. I should get the artillery upgrade from Arsenal, which I have, so never mind. Let's get all the other upgrades here. Good. What's my, how's my livestock doing? I'm still over. I'm still over pop on the livestock. That's neat as well. Not a bad thing. I should get. I should max true. out on those as well. How many do, can I have more? I can have three more here. And I can have four more here. Okay, I have five survivable mortars now. So we're, we're cooking with gas here. Excellent. But let's also get a bunch of UFOs here. Let's not be greedy, let's get the Ark of the Covenant first. <laughs> Seems reasonable. I don't want to go broke. I think I'm things. gonna gonna mortar their mortars from a distance and then destroy their palace just so I don't have to grind my way through red space before I get there. Fair enough. Let's see how that goes. Speaking of red, red's gonna attack our middle section. That's true, yeah. I send my army down there. Sevaspo so mortars are destroying one another. But I've got I've got more, so we should be good. Okay, one of them is down. Excellent. Yeah, I've got the reserve army here as well. Yeah, I'm handling these purple attack rays of ease. Lot of shoulder warriors they have there. Mm. Oh, they have two more of them, but they made the mistake of not committing all of them straight away. That's, that was a mistake indeed. I'll, I'll save some shipments. Yeah, but they do have a lot of those mortars, so that's red can be quite dangerous in that regard. Okay, all of them but one down. Might as well just get all these shipments. Get me some lumber. I've got some villagers I don't know what to do with. Uh, well, you're just a healer. Uh, Mount Monastery, I don't really need another one of you. You just defeated Red, well done. Wait, what? That, that's, that counts as defeat? Yeah, you have to okay. destroy the palace. <laughs> yeah, but I could just destroy that from, like, essentially, but without entering the base. That seems interesting. Oh. Okay. Well, that was straightforward. Don't know your own skills sometimes, eh? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, this Ark of the Covenant's helping. Let's get another team, Sevastopol Mortar. That seems reasonable. I should really should have graded my monsters further. I'm gonna heal my mortars here. But good. And so my army is pretty much ready, so we could go after purple next. Considering that purple has been bothering you for quite a while now. Why not? Yeah, I'm just going to heal up my mortars here a little bit because one of them needs healing desperately. And I'm almost at my pop limit. The nice thing about watchtowers also doubling as saloons is you can just double click them and just hold down the archer button. <laughs> Uh, that is very true. Speaking of which, let's upgrade mine a little bit. Okay, okay. Going somewhere with this here. Indeed. 
I think I'm also yeah. maxed out and ready to roll. Oh yeah, and Red is sending the famous Conga Lama villagers, even though now it's... It's not really... It's not really uh, necessary to destroy them anymore. Mm. I guess we hit purple next then. Yeah, I would say so. So I'm, I'm moving south. They're going ham with that mining. <laughs> Is very true. They now they're dedicated. Now that the peace has been reached, so they mm. are focusing on the economy. But our attack speed of it. Yeah, I'm still surprised about the neutral, uh, green neutral Aboon just hanging out there. Interesting to say the least. Yeah. See, when I was thinking about how this level would be made co-op, I was considering that you'd just be all of the green stuff, but apparently not. Okay, I'm taking the other flank. They have a lot of miners outside the city there. That that was a mistake. Mm. Yeah, and they're all retreating now. The Sevastopol mortars are doing a good job of just taking out the guard towers. Yeah. Yeah, the gate is next. And there's there's five more incoming. I suspect and I think five would be much better also, too. So the, the mortars are pretty slow, but at the same time they don't need to deploy. Yeah. Because they're on wheels. The game does a much better service to the weapon though than history does. I suppose that's true. Because it was just like found abandoned on the side of the road and that's yeah, all we know about it. Here's the palace here. Yeah, so I'll focus my mortars on that. And in the meantime, just distract. Distract their warriors. So they do have mon monastery builders, but they didn't utilize them, interestingly. Hmm. I guess the eye is just not scripted to do that. Yeah, they were mining instead of building. Oh, uh, red is, oh red's just uh, going for the animals in my base. I thought they had turned on me again. Because <laughs> that looks very sc scary on the minimap. Indeed. And that's them defeated. People of Shiwa, your lord is no more. Join me! I think we can probably just move on to the final faction because I'm almost at maximum pop, so we, we should be good. Yeah, I lost a bit in the initial engagement, but I can just keep going, it's not a problem. Good, good, good. So, I'll just go to, to this position here. Okay. Then let's see... Let's see how that goes. I'll just re-rally of some cannoneers. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna pick up the the siege damage treasure. That may actually be worth it. Worth it now. Hmm. Why not? Especially now that you don't have a palace shooting you while you pick it up. That's true. Cavalry build time. Yeah. Yeah. That I tr I tried that before, but I was just mercilessly destroyed by. Another mortar. Mostly is destroyed by those uh, mortars. That's yes. all good now. Yeah, same, same happened here. The purple villagers are now just like killing all the ostriches outside my palace. And... No, not not the official palace ostriches. Mm, it's a bit rude, really. It is, yeah. Just, just exploiting their peace treaty. This last one shouldn't be too much trouble. Yeah, so the orange is very dug in. I wonder whether they have a full army because I don't recall orange attacking at all. Yeah, you made the point there. Maybe they got stuck. Yeah, also, R red is just hanging out there. Give that roar.
Good, good, good. So you're Mark getting a lot of influence. <laughs> devastating here. Yeah, I don't think Orange uh, stands a chance, especially because we have double pop. Yeah, getting smashed so at even, 400 supply of army yeah, is ridiculous. So, exactly, yeah. So even if they have maximum, uh, they shouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, the deck was a little bit disappointing, it just wasn't very exciting. It's mostly just economic upgrades and getting some troops. Yeah, same here. That was my, probably my one criticism of this map. Because the faction itself yeah. is probably my favourite from the DLC, but the deck is yeah, I, I really, probably the least interesting yeah, I, I really deck I've like seen. The, the, mount, yeah, the, the mountain monasteries are, I think they're really cool, it's, it's very flavourful as well. Yeah. Uh, and there's the palace. Ah oh, yes. Burn it to the ground. The flavor of the palace does slightly drop, of course, when you build multiple of them and just for defensive purposes. But <laughs> I suppose that's true. Although maybe that can be standard emperor's response. No longer terrorize these lands. I'm just defending myself. All of the provinces have been united once more. A new age dawns on Ethiopia. Boom. Victory. After a century of chaos, Carthagena once again unified Ethiopia. Although the region was a patchwork of different cultures and religions, Ethiopia's ancient roots bonded its inhabitants together. Kasa was crowned to Rodros II, an auspicious name whose bearer was prophesied to steer Ethiopia into centuries of prosperity and greatness. Although unrest continued to plague the country throughout the Rodros's short reign, he was instrumental in modernizing his country. He was unable to prevent the British from looting his capital, but the reforms that he enacted made it possible for the Ethiopians to resist foreign invaders a century later and remain independent.